Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat 500. It could be generation Fiat 500 from year 2008 all the way to currently year 2022. If you have one of those guys and if you have a problem when you press the brake paddle, you see a stop light on the dash, tell you this will explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. But uh, before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos on that Fiat guys on our channels, we will have more than 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. I need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. So let's explain what we have here guys. If you need to buy any parts to use for your Fiat, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where you can get really good price and shipping, okay, uh, as well. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the ignition switch on, Oh, if you just have the car started, let me show you what's going to happen now. I press the brake paddle and what I have, stop light. Check this thing out, okay? We have stop light here. So what guys causes that now? We're going to uh, have a person hold the brake paddle and check this thing out. One of the stops will not work, guys. And you need to see which one it is. In our case, it's the right one. So let's go ahead, turn the ignition switch off and we're going to go ahead, okay? and fix that problem now. So what do we need? 10 millimeter socket right here in order to remove two bolts. So we're going to do that quick, pretty easy. Okay, now that's top. You just grab it and pull it straight out. Do not just lift one side up, go ahead and pull it at the same time on both sides out guys. It will be stuck. Okay, you have two plastic, okay guides let me show you these ones that go in these holes right here so you kind of like need to pull it out now we're going to disconnect the wire here okay this is the wire okay let's pull now on it okay one second i need to get a screwdriver to disconnect this one in order to get to the bulbs uh so we can actually twist the stop light the whole brake light assembly and be able Try not to pull on the uh, wires, pull on the connector only. Okay, perfect. Now we have a Torx 20 start looking bit here. You can see we will need to remove our Torx 25. One of the two, 20 or 25. One, two, three, four. Okay, that we need to do. I think it's a, okay, it's a 20. We got 25, but it's too big, so it's 20, guys. Torx 20, this is the star looking bit that we have right here. And let's go ahead and pull them out. We need to remove each one of those now. Almost there. Two, three more. After this one, just two. If you want to see anything else specifically on Fiat, let us know. Leave a comment below, guys. We're we'll more than glad to make a video for your specific problem. And working on number three now. So, let's see now. Perfect. Okay, that's the last one. Now, we're going to pull that assembly out. And the stop light, guys, okay. Uh, we can see it will be that bulb right here. This is turn signal, reverse light. You can kind of like see it. Okay, let me see. This one will be on the bottom. So this is a reverse light. This is turn signal light. And this is the stop light. The problem is right here. You push down a little bit, you turn. And that bulb, okay, is burned right here. So we just get the new bulb, we install it and we're going to put everything together in reverse order that we took it apart and we will inspect and see if that light will go away now. So we put it together guys, we're going to turn the ignition switch on and we're going to inspect now to see, okay, if actually the brake light works, let's see now. And yep, everything works. Do we get a message on the dash? Let's uh, see now. We don't go get any warning messages. Okay, let's apply the brake or the brake. Nope, nothing. So that fixed the problem, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.